May 6th. We're back on some of that later planted uh, CRP. Some we're not CRP. May 6th, and uh, we're back on some of our uh, later planted turnips and radishes from last year. It came up pretty good, but now the weeds are taking over it, and it kind of died off nice. They had a lot of deer in here eating this stuff. They like a hunting trail, or like an ATV trail to get out to their woods, so just outlining that right away so that I can just pick up and over it nicely and not disturb their nice path. Like I said before, it's amazing. You know, this did hold some more moisture in this ground compared to our chiseled ground. You can see he put a food plot, a different guy. They planted some corn for some deer and some other, I don't know what they put in between the rows, but we're just working down them stalks and the whole, well actually the entire stock just fell over, but some of it's standing back there. Nowhere near as dusty as the uh, ripped corn ground, but still plenty dry, working up beautifully because of those radishes and turnips. Almost got her here. These cover crops are pretty neat. Got to back into your corner so you can get it nice and uh, good. Except that. Never mind that. That's a uh, nightmare. This is a horse pasture. It used to be a horse pasture. And um, I've got hung up in there before in there. And it's still wet after all the snow rain. It's as close as I can get to it. Um, a lot of weeds here from not planting it last year, so I am going to work this one more time to try to break up some of those grass clumps. And um, we'll get it looking pretty good. It actually probably would be okay, but I just like it to dry out a little bit while I do the big part of the field. And I'll come back and hit this again. Not really noticing a difference the second time over. I went along that fence line again uh, the second time, and this is all just first pass here, but. I was gonna try to break up some of those clumps like I was in that smaller field where I was changing that shovel, but they just don't break up any more than that. Um, we'll let them dry out, and then uh, when the roller goes across it, maybe they'll break apart a little more, but that's pretty good for how it looked before. Really good. This thing does a fantastic job. I don't know, I really don't think you could have got through here with a normal field cultivator and it would have probably not looked so hot even after a couple two three passes we've tried it i'm not just breaking this thing up um we used to run different fuel cultivators and then we're on this thing and we like it we had to burn off the crp between two of our fields i don't know how it works exactly or what the right term is they there's too many invasive things or something they have to start over basically but I have a map in the cab. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think I have to dig just a little farther here. They want us to get up to where, over the years, it's kind of creeped out on us because it's usually so wet right here. But not this spring. Had to get out. It's like a toe strap or something in the field. Scorp. Found deer antlers and like a 25 foot log chain in the field the other day, too. All sorts of treasures. Working corn stalks. Does pretty darn well on a little bit of a hill so it's kind of cheating up but you can hardly tell the pass next to us to your right was ripped pass we just did straight corn stalks man this thing is sweet here's the work corn stalks a little closer like i say it's kind of a little swell here so it's okay but basically what i mean by that is now we're ripped on top here but there's corn stalks on the side i'll probably be just hanging on and seeing some our fathers when i'm on that hill usually even though there's no way this thing's gonna roll but um, as it comes through the swell, you know, the, all the shovels are not at the, you know, they don't do an even job. So that's why it leaves some stocks. Um, this thing does do an amazing job when it's on level ground, one time over with stocks. Still finding mud. Changing shovels. I could probably use one right there, but I'm out. So I gotta make this work. Everything else looks okay under here. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that we always it's expanded out over the years but usually it's just right here and it's still pretty wet right there i'm kind of getting a little slipping a little too much but i'm just going to get it kind of roughed up like this while the sun's still out and hopefully it'll dry out while i work this bigger part of the field and then when i get back to here maybe i'll be able to get over it and smooth it out a little better and you guys thought we'd get through the year without any mud on these machines <laughs> it just wouldn't feel right it wouldn't feel right 
but it's gonna be so nice to have these areas at least you know knocked down and get them drying out if we, even if we can't get them planted because it's been years since I've been able to drive here another uh, area on the headlands we used to go around right through it this is uh, very nice um, from what I've seen mostly on a lot of the YouTube farmers that follow very similar uh, spring for everybody in the Midwest at least. Um, I haven't really kept up with uh, Wes Tandy, one moment farmer, too much lately, just on his Instagram. And it seems like they were getting a lot of rain or they just got going, but I hope everyone's having a spring like this or it turns into a spring like this for you. Any other uh, farmers just find golf balls in the middle of the fields? And then you look around and there's really not a house anywhere close. So somebody really had to get a hold of that thing to get it out here, just like four. Well, eight acres left. I broke a bolt that uh, the lift arms are able to pick up, but I get it off in the morning and I had to call around to the dealerships and see who has it. And we'll get it polished off, pick some rock and 